Good evening, I'm Paul Major. And I'm Pat Harvey. SoCal Gas announced this afternoon that it's finally plugged the well that's been spewing natural gas for months. The company says it's now safe for everyone to return. But CBS 2's Randy Page is live in Porter Ranch where some residents aren't so sure about that. Randy. Pat, it has sure been a while, 111 days, that Porter Ranch residents have waited to hear these words. It is over. There is no gas that is leaking out of the well uh, as we speak. And SoCal gas spokesman Mike Mizrahi says there will never be any methane gas coming from that well ever again. We asked Mizrahi to share the reaction of the workers and engineers at the moment they knew the leak was stopped. I'll sum it up in one word, elation. Okay, we we're all very, very, very pleased because there have been a lot of people that have worked very hard on this project for a few months now. But maybe even more importantly, and this is the truth, we are excited for the community to know that this is over now. Ms. Rahi says heavy liquids have been pumped into the well to plug it up. The next step will be to pump concrete in to seal the well for good. Then state regulators will confirm that the well is permanently sealed. So what does this mean for the thousands of residents who left their homes and relocated? You can come home, it's time. For the first time in many, many months, the community is able to breathe clean air. Paula Crasium, president of the Porter Ranch Neighborhood Council, says it will take some time for life to get back to normal. There's going to be a version of PTSD as people move back in their homes that every time they smell something, they're scared it's happening again. But we, and obviously with Councilmember Englander and the other regulators, we're all working really, really hard to ensure that there are regulations in place and oversight in place that we can ensure this isn't going to happen again. But there is still some work to be done. SoCal Gas will need to put cement into the well. Then state regulators will have to come in to make certain that this well is capped. And at that point, this leak will officially be over. Pat? Well, Randy, what about all the students who have been displaced? Do we know when they'll be able to return to their own schools? Yeah, Pat, the decision was made and continues to be the case that the students will stay in the schools that they're in right now through the end of the year. The belief is it would just be too disruptive for them to have to move again. All right, long time coming for some of this. Thank you very much, Randy.